Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. This time we're going to talk about vector addition component method. In this video, we're going to learn how to add vectors using component method. This kind of method is the commonly used method in solving complicated problems involving vectors. Let us begin by resolving the x component and y component of this vector. A 5 newton force is applied to the box at an angle 30 degrees counterclockwise from the positive x axis. The question is what is the x and y component of this force? Let's view this force as a right triangle. We just need to get the value of x and y and that will be the x component and y component of the force 5 newton. To get the value, we use Sokotoa. We just need to use the sine and cosine theta and make use of the angle 30 degrees to get y and x respectively. Plugging in known values we have. Now we have the x component which is equal to 4.33 newton and y component which is 2.5 newton of forces. They are all positive because they lie on the positive x and y axis. Next, what if we have two vectors? and we are asked to get the resultant vector. We just need to add the x and y component and get the resultant magnitude and direction. For example, suppose you applied a 5 newton force on the box at an angle 30 degrees counterclockwise from the positive x axis. And your sister applied also a 7 newton force on the box at an angle 60 degrees clockwise from the negative x axis. What will be the resultant force? And at what direction to solve this we need to resolve the x and y component of both vectors from the previous example we have the x and y component of vector 5 newton at 30 degrees counterclockwise from positive axis these are x component 4.33 newton and y component 2.5 newton of forces we need the other vector and let's view this as a right triangle we need to use again the Sokatoa and now we have the x component which is equal to negative 3.5 newton and y component of 6.606 newton of forces take note that it is negative on the x component because it lies on the negative x axis while positive on the y component because it lies on the positive y axis then let's add all the x component and y component here we have summation along x component is equal to 0.83 newton and summation along y component is equal to 8.56 newton. Since the value of resultant x component is positive and resultant y component is positive, we can say that the resultant vector, vector force is on the first quadrant. We can view this as a right triangle. To get the resultant vector force, we use the Pythagorean theorem. So we have c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So the magnitude of resultant vector force is 8.16 newton. Then we need to find the angle. Let's view it again as a triangle. Then we use again Sokatoa to find the angle. This time let us use tangent. So the direction is 84.46 degrees counterclockwise from the positive x axis to sum up the resultant vector force is 8.16 newton at 84.46 degrees counterclockwise from the positive x axis before we end let me leave you with the steps on solving the resultant vector given multiple vectors one get the x and y component of each vectors Two, get the summation of x component and y component. Three, use the Pythagorean theorem to get the resultant magnitude. And four, use inverse tangent function to get the direction. Finally, you have all you need. And that is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering. <music>